a lights game uh, where basically if you uh, tap on the red light, uh, you get a, um, you increase your score, and each time you tap correctly, it keeps switching um, in between. And so the original concept for this game was a kind of a game, sort of like Guitar Hero or Dance Dance Revolution, where you have the music synced with the light, so you're tapping them in rhythm, and if you get them in rhythm and like at the right time, right buttons, that's when you get the highest score. But we were having a lot of issues with regards to just say, getting this hardware and software set up, so we decided to shorten the scope of the project just that much. But in theory, we could apply this very easily to that type of project. Um, so yeah, so basically what the components we have here are we have uh, capacitive uh, sensors, so basically just a wire where you just touch it, just changes the capacitance of the, the circuit. So you can just register that. They're pretty, they're pretty receptive. They're pretty receptive. Lost them. Lost them yeah. somewhere. Yeah. And they're in a rainbow order. You hit them in rainbow order. So you have the ability to project ahead. You know it's going to go here, 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 here. Nope. <laughs> so yeah, if you follow the orange one, you see that one is what becomes red next. Oh, you told them the... <laughs> and one of the cool things that we realized is that upon making this, that actually having an LED set up farther away from the acrylic uh, covering actually makes the squares seem brighter because uh, the light kind of diffuses as opposed to being right next to um, the acrylic where you just see the LED. But if you back off, you actually get a, a lot more illumination. And um, one of the cool lessons. So. Yeah. Uh, we would love to give a lot of credit to uh, Tay. He was the guy in our group who made this acrylic with like a laser printer and put the wood so that like each of the squares were in their own places. It just made this beautiful setup. Of course, he's not here today. But and you do a lot of the soldering. Back yeah. here is a lot of soldering. That's so this guy. These are really cool. Also, there's they sell LEDs. These LEDs were actually one series of LEDs on a strip. So there's like 150 LEDs on a couple of meters of just on a, um, a spool. On a spool. And uh, you can actually control each one individually with our Arduino. Uh, just be careful not to power up all of them because you'll actually pass a lot of current through your USB and probably damage your USB and the Arduino. One of the things that we learned about wiring and knowing how much current is going through. Luckily, so we, we learned this in a USB or no? We, we learned, learned this. Uh, yeah. no. Luckily, yeah. Andrew uh, had the magic line of code, which allows you to just yeah. limit the total amount of current you're putting out. So even if you ask it to draw a ton of current, you just get dim LEDs. Yeah. We, we were actually warned about a minute before we were going to try it, so that <laughs> <laughs> saved a laptop from being destroyed. Oh. And it's, <laughs> so that was a big lesson. And anybody want to have a choice? Well, firstly, do you, you, you want to say anything, Andrew or Eric? Did you have no. That, that was about the right summary, and we will maybe attempt to continue to add more features, including timing so you get more points for hitting it in the rhythm with lights or music. We were originally going to include some of the process, processing code that the Arduino team used last time to make some lights that flash and sync with the beat of the music, but due to technical difficulties with wiring, capacitance, etc., that's going to be a later version. Yeah, so that's our project. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you mentioned that the acrylic piece was uh, printed. 